Good evening, yogi friends. We go to the Sunbeam. Wednesday night yoga, Wednesday evening yoga. Here we go. People are logging on. We've got our first visitor, Adam. How's it? Welcome. Oh, I look forward to this. I'm just going to sit here and watch you, but I can't see you until we've got a few people. Hey, Al. Nice to have you here online for a stretching session. Takes a little while for everyone to trickle into the studio. Same as in the real world, really. How's it? How's it? Roll out your mat, make yourself comfortable. Hopefully we get a few more people joining. Hello. Um, so, how are you doing? I've been spending way too much time online. On the computer, can get a bit locked in. So, uh, cabin fevery, need a bit of exercise. Hopefully this helps. Really looking forward to it. Hey Lee, hey Anka, hey Anton. Thanks for, thanks for joining. We're almost up to the magic number of eight, and that's a great place to depart. Um, yeah, found a few nice moves online though, apart from all the online working. Instagram's got some amazing yogis, and I've got some nice little moves we thought we could try. We do the same things repetitively, but it's always nice to throw in a few new ones, just to keep that beginner's mind and, uh, yeah. Um, so intentional movement, try and infuse what you're doing and the way you're activating with as much intentionality as possible, like feeling the movement, even if it's burning, feel the burn and witness it and just hold it there. And with a long hold, you might find that it starts to dissipate and you find yourself in new territory of more movement, freedom and comfort. Um, I'm going to, because I'm filming with a selfie camera, you are seeing a mirror image of what I'm saying, I've realized. So I'm going to try and keep my mind awake and apply a real-time mirror filter. So I'm going to talk the opposite of what I do and we'll see how that goes. So that'll be a new thing. And the only ground rule is breathing through the nose. So no panting, no breathing through the mouth. Do the exercise through the nose. If you want to take a break, uh, take a break um, and let's go. Hope you enjoy it and uh, yeah, feel it. So I'm going to start off in the middle of my mat, kneeling with my shins against the right edge. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'm actually on the left edge, but I'm saying the right edge, so I hope you see the right. Now put your left foot onto your right knee and place your left knee down. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm kind of kneeling, but the one foot's on the knee, putting my hips into an interesting position, and then arms out to the side. Breathing through your nose and your shoulders are lifting, your fingers are spread. That back thigh is perhaps pressing backwards. Keep your shoulders lifting, breathing through the nose, and turn gently to the left. Facing the left side, shoulders are lifting, it's like you're unscrewing your spine from that back limb all the way through to your right shoulder. One nice twisted line. Come back to the center. And actually, let's go to the other side. Yeah, that one doesn't feel so good. Come back to the center. We're in a fingertip prayer. Your elbows are the same height as your wrists and your shoulders. And you're gazing up the roof. Perhaps pressing the hips slightly forward, looking up. Breathing through the nose, a few breaths. And you come back to neutral, and you're kneeling again. Now shuffle over to the left side of the mat, your shins on the left side. Then place your right foot on your left knee, and the right knee down in front of the left knee, off to the side. So it's kind of like a 45 degree knee thing going on there. Arms out to the side, fingertips are spread. Maybe you want to stretch up first. We didn't do that on the first side, but it actually feels pretty good to stretch up and look up. Arms out to the side, and then rotating over to the right. Shoulders are lifting, holding it here for three breaths, breathing through the nose. Now 
back to neutral and you're kneeling now on the right side of the mat hook your right knee behind the left and center your knees on top of each other your feet are splayed out to the side and then sink your groins down into that cow ear pose so your knees are kind of stacked on top of each other your feet are out to the side arms are out to the side fingers are spread shoulders are lifting and then raise your arms above your head stretching up to the ceiling maybe keeping your elbows slightly bent so you can get a lift through the shoulders all the way up and then lean forward feel the sitting bones broadening you're going to finger to prayer your shoulders are lifting pressing your elbows forward holding it wherever you are you know, so I'm sure it's stiff you're kind of compressing the hips here getting right down into that hip, hip structure and then sink back keep your feet touching the ground you can use your fingertip to support you keep your feet touching the ground lift your hips and then unspiral all the way around until you come back facing the front and your knees are stacked on top of each other again just a nice little transition okay so my knees are centered my feet are splayed out to the side like it's called Bomukashana, it's the cow ear pose arms out to the side fingers are spread shoulders are lifting and then you stretching up all the way to the fingertips leaning forward a bit feeling the compression in the lower back sitting bones are broadening you get a fingertip prayer maybe you can lean slightly further forward and reach the elbows forward holding it here feeling the burden breathing through the nose if there are any sharp pains of like nerves getting pinched then obviously back off but if it's an enjoyable therapeutic release hold it intensify it as much as you can play with your own boundary at wherever you're at for that stiffness level It'll be a different day to day as well okay release you can untuck the legs you're on all fours shoulders are pressing towards your ears hips are pulling back lift your ribs and your belly button slightly and then straighten your legs pressing your thighs back into a downward dog position it's like a capital A piked position maybe you want to walk your hands a little bit further forward and broader apart they should be broader than your shoulders your fingers are spread wide like a cat your thighs are giant levers pressing into the back of your hamstrings pulling your hip structure back away, away from your wrists stretching through your entire torso five breaths breathing through the nose try and synchronize the inhale to stretching your hips back pull through the most sensitive area can you lift and stretch through the most sensitive area okay slowly walk up the middle of the mat all the way at the top feet are together your knees can be slightly bent support yourself with your fingertips so you want your fingertips on the ground the knees can be bent and then lift your right shin behind you lift the foot off the ground slightly and then lift that shin so that it's parallel to the back of the mat you have to do some geometry there get it parallel to the back of the mat and also kind of centered and then lift it as high as you can the standing knee is still bent you're lifting that shin behind you holding it parallel to the back of your mat your shoulders are lifting and pressing forward that could feel quite nice let the release happen okay foot down feet are together knees are bent lift the left shin up behind you orientate it so it's parallel to the back of the mat and centered your shoulders are lifting and pressing forward perhaps breathing through your nose lift the toes on both feet if you can which activates your legs and your knees holding it here breathing through the nose okay feet down step back to plank okay so now we're in a nice straight line my hips are between my heels and my shoulders I'm not lifted up I'm not sagging down I'm hopefully in a straight line like a plank the creases of my wrists are parallel to the front of the mat to protect my wrists I want even distribution over them and ideally I'm gripping the mat like a cat so I'm kind of lifting out of the wrist slightly that's an exaggeration that's an intention holding the plank, plank breathing through your nose okay lower down onto your knees 
tuck onto the tops of your feet, press your chest forward, pull your shoulders back, gaze forward, breathing through the nose. Either hold this, and if you want to take it a bit further, lift the thighs off the ground, thighs and knees off the ground, but your torso is also lifting like a lizard in the sun, on a rock. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Back onto all fours, tuck your toes, lift your ribs a little bit, press your shoulders forward, pulling your hips back, straighten your legs, down the dog, once more. Sway your hips from side to side, explore the, the difference from side to side. Can you lengthen the left side, pulling the left hip back, and you sway over and lengthen the right hip, pulling the right hip back. Tip toe your feet together. Lift the left leg up behind you. Really driving the thigh up, reaching all the way up into the heel. And down again next to the other foot. Lift the other leg up. Compressing the thigh up all the way up to the heel. Lower the leg, feet are together, knees down, wide apart, child's pose. Recovery, sink your groins down. You can rest your hands in your palms. Or you can have your fingertips as far forward as you want, as you can. To sit down, it's a recovery pose, catch your breath, refresh your intention. Keep your mouth closed and your breath long. Up onto all fours, down with the dog, and then walk up the center line of the mat, all the way to the top, feet are together, knees are bent, reach forward with the arms. Hands on the hips, up you come. Cool, that was a nice little warm up. Excellent, we all still alive. Okay, let's do a little standing pose or two, which often demands attention. <coughs> and it exposes it when it's not there. So we're gonna be balancing, starting on my left foot. So, arms out to the side, spread your fingers for balance. Lift your right knee as high as you can. Stretch up with the arms. Think it's a prayer that right knee is still driving up. We're balancing on one foot. We're driving down through that lengthened leg. We're in a finger to prayer and I'm rotating to the right. So like towards that knee. Holding to looking to the looking to the side. And release. Tricky one. Both feet. <coughs> I'm balancing on my right foot, so I'm lifting my left knee. I'm driving it upwards. And I'm raising my arms up and I'm stretching, driving down through that standing leg, reaching up to the fingertips. Keep driving that lifted knee up. Your foot's active, so the toes are lifting. Now I'm going to finger to prayer, and I'm intentionally turning to the left. Balancing on my left foot, using my front two fingers, <coughs> my left <laughs> I'm holding my right big toe with my arm on the inside of the knee. You can balance with your hand on your hip, or you can have your hand out to the side or above you, and you really lengthen that line. The more you activate through the standing leg and stretch up, the more stability you have. <coughs> Start pressing that, how, that held foot away from you. If this is where you have to stay there and you're pressing that top thigh down. If you can go further, go further. The thigh is pressing down, reaching up with the other hand. And then if you want, you can let go, come out of it. Other side, so I'm balancing on my right foot, <coughs> grabbing my left big toe. Finding my balance however, however you prefer, hand on the hip, I'm out to the side or stretching above you, and then straighten out that left leg. Or, you know, press against wherever you're at. If you're here, then you bind here and press vigorously as if you were going to straighten the leg. But you balance out the effort so that you can keep your balance, and you breathe around that balance point.
and then release. One last crazy one on the balancing front. <coughs> so we're going to balance on our right foot. So my left foot goes onto my knee. Similar to what we did last time, which we were, we were in a fingertip prayer, we went down. This time my arms are out to the side, lifting like wings. And I'm balancing on that one foot, sinking my chest down towards the, the shin. Holding it there for a few breaths, breathing through the nose. And come out of it. Other side. Right foot in the left knee. Maybe you want to stretch up to begin with. Into a finger to pray. Oh, sorry. Arms out to the side, like wings. No matter how you are, either in a prayer or arms out to the side. Sinking down as low as you can get it. This is where you're actually holding it there for three breaths. Or go all the way down. It's quite a hip twister compression. A strange pose. Come out of it. Okay, that's enough uh, balancing. Let's do a little front lunge. Which side first? Okay, my feet are together. I'm using my arms to balance. And I'm stepping my left foot back as far as I can. And I'm on the ball of the back foot. My front knee is over the front ankle. So I'm on the ball of the back foot. That back thigh is pressing back. Arms out to the side. And then I'm in a fingertip prayer. Turning to your left. Sorry, to your right. Uh, 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 I mixed that up. So you're turning away from your back leg. You're turning in the same direction as your front leg. Does that make sense? Sorry, that was a bit of a, a poor cue. Okay, rotate to the front, and then rotate to the other side, and drop your back heel. So now we're in warrior two legs. The right knee is over the right ankle. The left leg is driving back. And that left thigh is pulling back. If you're getting squashed between two panes of glass, you kind of your hips are rotating, so that left hip is pulling back. Okay, arms out to the side. We in warrior two. Your arms are parallel to the mat. I'm gazing over the front hand, holding it there, breathing through my nose. Drop the back hand somewhere down towards that back knee, wherever it's at. Slide down the back leg and stretch up at the front hand. Try to increase the distance between your fingertips. Still keeping your legs in that nice lunging position. Okay, arms are parallel to the mat again. Front elbow on the front knee. Fingers are spread. Back hand towards the ceiling. Stretch up. Try and pull up everything. Pull up that whole side of your body. That left hip. Pull it up, out, back. Reach down with the fingertips of the right hand. Touching the floor on the inside of the right foot. And then come up out of it and step forward. Long hold on that side. Sorry about that. Let's do the other side to gain some symmetry. So we're standing at the front of a mat, our feet are together, balancing arms, stepping my left foot back, big distance. And I'm on the ball of the back foot. Get your balance. Front knee is over the ankle. Right thigh is driving back. Fingers are spread, and I'm looking to prayer. Elbows are lifting. And I'm turning towards the left. Back towards the centre. Drop the back heel. Turn towards the right. And again, warrior two legs. Front knee is bent over the ankle. Arms are out to the side. Warrior two arms. Get your hips back. Sorry, your shoulders back above your hips. And as if some stretching your arms. Someone's pulling on the back arm, someone's pulling on the front arm. Someone's pulling on that back thigh. Spatch cooking your hips a bit. Okay, back hand on the back knee, front arm up. Increase the distance between the fingers by stretching down, stretching up at the same time through the chest and torso. Distribute the stretch. Arms are parallel to the mat warrior two, gazing over the front hand. Bend the front elbow on the knee. Top hand up, lift that hand which pulls your shoulder up and pulls the whole side of your body up. 
but keep your legs in a deep squat. Deep lunge, I mean, sorry. Reaching down with the fingertips of the left hand, touching the floor on the inside of the foot. Lifting up with your hips, lifting up with the shoulder. Don't go too wobbly with the top hand. It's stacked above the line of your right hand, through the shoulders, all the way to the top. Inhale, cover. Step forward. Sure, nice one. Okay. Nice move I wanted to do. What was that one? Oh yes, okay. Let's come to the top front of the mat and feet off to the side. We're going to assume a wrestler kind of a squat. It's called a horse squat. Trying to get your shoulders above your hips, everything back above your hips. Fingertips on your scalp. Right elbow to the right knee. Lifting the left elbow. Putting your shoulders back. Holding it here for a couple of breaths. Back up to the center. Left elbow over to the left knee. Top elbow is lifting. Back up to the center. Arms up. Arms down. Fingertips on the ground beneath your shoulders. Your feet are parallel to the side of the mat. Walk your fingers as far forward and apart as possible. Your fingers are reaching forward broadly. As far forward as you can, your knees are bent, you're sinking your groins down. Step back onto the mat. Crouch down. Sit down. Hmm. I actually intended to go into a much longer flow there, but I think it was getting a bit intense. Let's just mix it up slightly with a little twist before we do, do one or two more standings. So now, I'm sitting down, my right knee is bent in front of me, left foot hooks over the front of the knee. Broaden your sitting bones, facing the front, pulling your shin towards you. You're sitting as tall as you can, so you're trying to pull your belly button forward and up. Broadening the sitting bones, pulling your shin towards you. Right arm up. And then hook the right elbow in front of the left knee. Front hand faces the front, palm facing open. And your back hand, which is your left hand, I assume, supporting you. Fingertips on the mat behind you. You're kind of in a, in a prepared twist here. You're not twisting too deeply yet. You're in position. You're going to use the torque of the knee against the elbow as a twist point, and the friction of the bum bones on the ground as a, as a twist point. So try and broaden the sitting bones, sit as tall as you can. Lift through to the shoulders. You mainly want to focus on lifting and lengthening. And as a bonus, start wringing out your body and twisting between your sitting bones and your shoulders. Keep your neck relaxed. Don't worry about the neck. Everything else can twist as much as possible. Dig into the knee with the elbow. And vigorously twist, depleting your organs of blood, like wringing them out. Hold it there, savor it. Save the length and then the twist. The length on the inhale, twist on the exhale. Mm. Release. Other side. The left knee is bent. The right foot is hooked over the knee. Sit tall, pull the shin towards you. Left arm up. And hook the left elbow in front of the right knee. Palm facing the front. Sit tall. Right hands behind you, fingertips on the ground supporting you. Sit tall, lengthen to the top of the head from the sitting bones, and then twist in your elbow vigorously into your knee. Twisting between the sitting bones and the shoulders. Neck is relaxed. Holding there for a couple of breaths. Release. Okay, let's stand again. Make your way up to a standing position. Move gently. One last balance. A tree pose. So I'm standing on my left foot. My right sole of my right sole of my foot is on my left thigh. That lifted heel is slightly in front of the toe box. And this lifted knee is pulling back. 
arms out to the side, my fingertips are spread. Okay, our hands can be on the hips or out. Out I find is better for balancing. It's like one of those poles, tightrope or walker pole. So balance, balance, and then root down to the standing leg, up to the top of the head, lengthen the standing line through the entire body. And if you want to reach up with the hands, like a tall birch tree, very tall. Good to focus on the spot in front of you, tuning everything else out. And then release. Very smooth the other one to the other side. Take time to prepare, getting into the pose. Get your alignment right, get your comfort levels right. And when you're ready, sink into it, stretch into it. more standing. So feet are together at the top of the mat. Step your right foot back, big distance. Big distance. Front knee is bent. The inside line of the front foot bisects that back foot. The back foot's really far, far away, so we're getting a nice hip stretcher here. Arms out to the side, and then into a fingertip prayer. Looking to the side. This is warrior two legs, fingertip prayer, looking to the side. When you're ready, right elbow all the way to that front knee. Lengthen through that back line. Lengthen through the line from that back heel, all the way to the front shoulders, all the way through the top of the head. Holding it here for two more breaths. Inhale back up. Step forward. Other side, shoot your right foot back big distance. Bend the front knee, check that the front line of that foot bisects the back foot. Warrior two legs, get your line nice. You can start off with full warrior two, and then come into a fingertip prayer. Looking to the side. <coughs> when you're ready, that back left elbow all the way to the front knee. And then lengthen the line from that back heel to the top of the head. Gazing forward off to the side. Inhale up, step forward. Cool. Just check in. Still with us? Excellent. A um, couple of sun salutes, A's and B's, variations. Feet up the front of the mat while we're still warm. Bend the knees, arms up, palms facing each other. Then get to prayer. Your prayer is down to your knees. Sinking down into the hips, lengthening from the hips, sitting bones to the top of the head. Fingertips on the mat, broad, almost off the edge of the mat. Step back to plank. Okay, keeping your elbows as close to your body as possible, just do one slow press up, like a press down, and then press up. Now flip over onto the tops of your feet, keeping your hips off the ground. Move your hips forward, pull your shoulders back. Chest lifts up, presses forward like a pigeon. Exaggerated, like bop, bop, bop. Fires are pressing up, upward dog. Okay, back on your knees, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, downward dog. Use the traction of the mat. Drive forward with the hands, driving back with the feet to lift the hips. If there was a rope underneath your hips, if you're lifting up towards the ceiling, go to high tiptoes. Drive your hips higher. Press your thighs back. Lift your ribs a little bit and then see if you can press your thighs back a little bit more. Walk up the center line of the mat, all the way to the top. Bend the knees, reach forward with the arms. Hands on the hips, 
Up you come. Nice. Let's do that again. Knees bent, arms up. Prayer. Fingertips down on the side of the mat. Step back to plank. Holding plank. Okay, knees down, tuck your toes. Now our fingertips are off the side of the mat, quite broad, very slowly. It's quite a radical upper chest of open of this one. Slowly move forward and chest to the ground, chest and chin to the ground. Quite discomfortable, hold it there. I feel like your chest is cracking open. Hopefully there's no cracking. Holding it there, it's quite an intense one. And then slowly come up. Hands back on the mat, broad. Straighten the legs, down with dog. Tip toe your feet together, lift your left leg straight up behind you. Three times, exhale, knee to forehead. Left knee touches your forehead. Inhale, lift the leg up behind you. And then exhale, bring your knee to your forehead. Exhale, lift the left leg, reaching up to the ceiling. Exhale, knee to forehead. Lift your leg one more time and then drop it. Feet it together in the center of the mat. You're on high tip toes. Lift your right leg, moving from the thigh, from your core. Exhale, right knee to your forehead. Inhale, drive your right thigh up, reaching all the way up with your heel to the ceiling. Exhale, knee to forehead. One last time, right, right foot towards the ceiling. Knee to forehead. Lift the leg and down. Knees down wide apart, child's pose. Give us some time to recover. Not much longer of the intensity. Just a couple more bees. Okay, back onto all fours, tuck your toes, downward dog. Now, turn your left foot at 45 degrees. The foot's, the sole of the foot's on the center of the mat. And then lift your right leg up as high as you can. And then step forward between your hands. And if your foot hits earlier, shuffle it forward until your foot is between your hands. That back foot, the sole of the foot's on the floor. And then bring your hands to your hips, lift your torso. So now that back foot's on the ground behind you. This is warrior one legs. Arms out to the side and then up, palms facing each other. Your hips are facing the front, but that back left thigh is driving you back. You're going to pray. A strong prayer. Your forearms are one straight line. Your fingertips are spread. You're leaning forward, so the top of your head is an extension of that back leg. All the way through the torso to the top of your head. Hands down. Step back to plank. Lift your hips. Turn your right foot 45 degrees, place it in the center of the mat. Lift the left leg up behind you, moving from the thigh. Exhale, step forward between your hands with your left foot. Get your foot right up between the hands. It takes some time if you didn't make it in the step. Your front knee is above your ankle. And your back foot's quite far back and you're on the sole of the back foot. There. And your shoulders up above your hips. That back right thigh driving backwards into the right hip is pulling backwards. Arms up to the side, shoulders are lifting, reaching up to the fingertips. Hold the activation, activate into it. In a nice firm prayer, and you're reaching forward in front of that knee. But your torso is an extension of that back, the line of the back leg. Hands down, step back to plank, press down, press up, roll over the tops of the feet, your upper dog, chest forward, shoulders back, thighs are lifting, back onto all fours, tuck your toes, downward dog. Tiptoe your feet together, lift the left leg right up behind you, and then sweep the bent knee through all the way to the front of the mat, so I'm kneeling with my left knee bent on the ball of the back foot, arms out to the side. So that right hip is pulling back. 
I'm in a prayer. And I'm touching my right elbow to the knee. Extending from the back heel to the top of the head. Torso stays lifting. Hands down the mat. Step back to down dog. Feet together and high tip toes. Lift the right leg up behind you and sweep the bent knee through. Place it down between the mat, between the hands. I'm on the back knee. Makes it a bit easier. Arms out to the side, stretching up. Hands are in a prayer. Maybe a fingertip prayer because there's a bit of lightness. And then that left elbow to the front knee. Looking to the side, lengthening the line from that back heel to the top of your head. Holding there and breathing. Letting the distribution take place. Hands are down the mat. Step back to down the dog. You're on your knees. You come down with your forearms. So your fingers are spread at the front of the mat, at the top of the mat. Your forearms are parallel. You dig into your elbows, pressing them outwards. And you come into a plank position. It's a forearm plank. Opening up my shoulders a little bit, holding it here, breathing through the nose. Your fingertips of your right hand are in line with your left elbow. Try and keep your symmetry all the way to the left elbow. Switch side, come down to the right forearm, fingertips of the left hand. Switch sides again, left forearm, right arm up to the ceiling. Shoulders are lifting, building strength in the shoulders, and mobility. Okay, right forearm down, left arm up. Don't hold for long, enough to give a bit of a reaction from your body. Hands down, come up to down the top. One last maneuver here, side cross. So we're in downward dog, our feet are in the center of the mat. Come up, turn onto the outside edge of your left foot and stack the other foot on top of it. And then support yourself over your left ankle, sorry, your left wrist. Stack everything, try and get yourself pretty much like a cross. Your torso is straight, your legs are active, your toes are lifting. Your supporting hand is spreading, your fingers are spread. You're reaching up to that top hand. Okay, come back to center. You're like roll over through down the dog. Roll down onto the outside edge of your right foot. Left foot stacked on top of it. Get your symmetry and we're in a side cross. Down onto all fours. Forearms down, like we were doing a forearm plank, but now we're doing a forearm down and dog. It's called a dolphin. Pull your shoulders back, so you straighten your legs. You're pulling your thighs back and your shoulders back. Big shoulder open in this one. Then high tip toes, holding here for a couple of breaths. Knees down wide apart, child's pose. Okay. I wish I could see the clock. I can't see the time. Um, I think that's probably enough of the sweetie asanas. So, let's move into a slightly quieter phase. Only one or two more little things sitting. Um, but we're going to go, you know, I think the lighting is terrible and I could have pushed this. Oh, check at that. Should have done that at the beginning, eh? It's got like a lighting thing. Should have had light during the thing and gone dark now. Um, anyway. Okay, so you might want to be on some books 
or we can roll your mat up into a little bit of a sausage to give you some lift. But after a nice loosening up yoga asana session, it's good to calm down a bit, go a little bit more inward. Some people say that this is the, the peak of the practice and the yoga physical is just to prepare for this, but I think they're equally important. And I certainly enjoy that nice physical aspect to it. I hope you do. So now just find yourself a quiet place. You might want to close your eyes. We're going to sit for a few minutes, five minutes max probably. Do a little bit of breathing. So feel the sensations coursing through your body. Try and follow some of the same principles. So we're sitting tall. Our sitting bones are broad, our spread, our hips are broadening. Rooting down into the ground. Earthing. Every other particle in your body is lifting up. So you're infusing yourself with a sense of lightness. We're limiting our attention as much as possible to what's happening in the room, within ourselves. And if you can, focus on your own bodily organism. So it's quite nice to just focus on your breath. Witness it like a tiger, like a cat, breathing in, breathing out. I just savor the breath, breathing in. Lengthening the breath. And now we're going to focus it by breathing through one nostril at a time. So we're going to block the right nostril with our thumb and use the other two fingers as delicately as you need to. Block your right nostril, take a deep inhale through your left. I want to hear you. Switch on that exhale. Switch nostrils. Exhale through the other nostril. Inhale through the same nostril. Pulling down into the diaphragm, bottom of your lungs. Switch on the exhale. Inhale through the same nostril powerfully. Try and fill your entire lungs from the bottom all the way to the top. Keep your height on the exhale. Keep centered. Exhale smoothly. Try and link your attention to the breath. So inhale, just witness the breath. That means observing it without making any judgment. Witness it. If it's jerky, that's fine. Next one is slightly smoother. Keep the exhale long and smooth. Deep, powerful, smooth inhale. You might want to change arms so you don't get stiff. Check that you're centered around the nose. Shoulder and elbows lifting comfortably. Your eyes are open or your eyes are closed. Keep the rhythm going. Breathing through one nostril deep and powerfully. Exhaling through the other nostril. Not much longer of this deep, powerful breath. Deep inhale. Introduce a slight pause at the top of the inhale and at the bottom of the exhale. Focus forces you to focus. Slight pause at the bottom. And then pull deeply on the inhale. Check that your neck is relaxed and your eyes and your forehead are relaxed. Keep the rhythm going. Soften it slightly. Change down a gear. Keep the depth of breath, but go a bit quieter. Last few rounds. Okay, let go with the hands. You can cup your hands in front of you, you can rest your wrists on your knees. Shoulders are relaxed, your jaw is relaxed. Just stay sitting, floating, confusing yourself with a sense of contentment.
If there's still space, try and drift into it. Practicing stillness is quite a thing, quite refreshing. Even just a few minutes before you sleep or first thing in the morning, it's pretty amazing. Um, for now, I think we'll end it there. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Bless your sweat and thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, I'm enjoying the regularity of this, even though it's tricky times being online all the time and like stuck and um, oh yes, one on a practical note, this is a bit of a monologue. I could see that there's some people there. Thanks for the emoticons. You could push those little emojis, those are rad. Um, what do you think about trying uh, Zoom apparently? Because then I can see you and you can all see each other. Is that a good thing? It's more like the real world. But maybe you prefer this. Let me know. Bless your sweat. Have a great evening. And thanks very much. Cheers.